Well, hello, hello, and welcome, or welcome back to The Winning Wallet. My name is Elle, and here on this channel, we know it's never too early and never too late to start taking good care of our finances. You will find all fun things related to budgeting here, cash stuffing, setting up sinking funds, and playing savings challenges, all to prepare for our futures. If you haven't yet, I would love to welcome you as a subscriber. Blue button way over there in the corner. Please say hello down below. Let me welcome you into the channel and wish you a happy day. And now, let's take a look at what this is. So you guys, I do have a new binder to introduce to you today. I do have my little green rocks all spread around for the month of March. Spring is on its way, hopefully bringing warm temperatures to those who have been under snowy conditions for a while. But I wanted to introduce a new binder to you today. This is going to be my quote unquote business binder. Um, I have to confess, never in a million years did I think that I might be turning this YouTube thing into a business or a side hustle. Let's put it that way. Let's, <laughs> let's call it a side hustle. So this binder will be dedicated to my side hustle, my second job. And as much as I love it here, as much as I love these videos and filming them and watching them and talking with you all, if it is going to make me a little bit of money, even $10 to me, that's a side hustle. And even with this binder and the money we have set aside from savings challenges that we'll be using today, I am also going to be doing a little stuffing for my bridge binder. So let's go ahead, let's clear out some of this stuff. Let's count our money. Let's take a look at the envelopes. Let's stuff a little bit and catch up. I am beyond grateful to every single one of you who has ever watched a video, subscribed, chatted with me in the comment section. Maybe you ran a playlist. Maybe you ran more than one. You guys, I am so grateful. But let's go ahead and count our money for today. This is money that came from completed savings challenges. Here we go, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 65, 70, 5, 85, so 185, 86, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So $195, 100 of this will be going into the side hustle binder, the business binder, and then the rest will be going into my bridge binder, which you will see in just a moment. And there we go. With the side hustle binder, I wasn't sure which categories I would want in the binder, but after seeing um, several videos of different YouTubers here, you know, stuffing their own business binder with real YouTube earnings, I thought I would go ahead and start with the following categories. We have taxes, we have giveaways, which could be considered gifts, gifts to you all, supplies, anything I might need, income. If you notice, I have a prop bill in here, $50 in prop money. That's just for fun, you guys. Again, I'm not earning anything yet with YouTube. Maybe I will one day if I hit that $100 threshold, but guys, this is just for fun. And I have an extra envelope here labeled budget. Don't know what I'm doing with that one yet. I have an envelope for Amazon and Etsy, an envelope for postage and my post office box, and then subscriptions. I don't really have any subscriptions, but it seems like everybody else does. So maybe one day I'll do Canva or some other type of editing editing program. And actually, from my month ahead binder, I went ahead and moved my cloud storage to the side hustle um, envelope because I need storage space. This is a business expense. Oh my goodness. And then YouTube memberships. So isn't it interesting how they matched very nicely? So today, you guys, let's take a look at what we're stuffing in the envelopes to get this binder started. Okay, so again, $100 would have to be reached as a threshold for a payout. So taxes today would be getting $30. 
and actually is getting $30, it's just to prepare ahead of time. Again, I have not earned one penny from YouTube and don't expect to for quite a while. Giveaways, my gift category would be getting five today. And supplies, getting 10 today. Let's do, let's do a 10 here. And then income has the prop money, $50 in prop money. Nothing for the budget envelope since I have no idea what I'm using it for. Next, Amazon and Etsy getting $20 today. Anything I might need for the side hustle business. So $20 going to Amazon and Etsy. Next, another 20 going to the post office box and postage. Having a post office box is a little expensive, of course. Um, we would expect it to be. It's just kind of the way things are. So going ahead and stuffing this envelope for the future. And then subscriptions will be getting $15, even though I don't have any subscriptions currently. But you guys, why not? Why not use Savings Challenge money to kind of set up this new binder for fun and for success? And you guys, there you go. What do you think? What do you think of my new binder? <laughs> uh, you probably are like, oh my God, Elle, just relax. Well, I am relaxed, but I'm excited too. I think this is a lot of fun. Wanted to show you um, what I'm thinking for the future and get you kind of caught up on this stuffing today for the new binder, my side hustle binder. And if you haven't seen it before, you guys, this little guy right here, this little binder is my bridge binder. I set this up a month or two ago, really to take care of any costs that may come around that my daily cash envelope could not handle. So my first category here is shopping. Shopping will be getting $40 today. And I don't keep super, super close tabs on this money, you guys. It's just here in case I need it. So we are adding 40 today, 10, 20, 30, 40. And in shopping now, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. I did have to replace my Keurig machine. I had a student selling Girl Scout cookies. So things do come up from time to time. The next category is household getting 30 today. Should something go wonky in the house? Oh gosh, you never know, right? So let's do 10 and 15, 20, 25, 30. And adding this today will bring us messy money, messy money. Will bring us to 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 100, 5, 10, 15, and 16, 116. I may get to a point, you guys, if I don't use this money, I may take some of it back out and use it for savings challenges or I don't know, but it's just a safety net, you guys. It's a safety net for something unexpected. Next is going to be personal, getting $10. See if I can open the envelope without ripping money. There we go. Oops, I just closed it. Go figure. Look at this. I have this money here, but obviously I'm not using it. However, I like it here. It's a sense of security. If you have ever been in a place where overspending has been part of your life, the way it was part of my life for, oh, seven years, you guys, you may have experienced the same feeling as what I'm experiencing now this is security. This is peace of mind. Even though I don't know what I might use it for, it is simply peace of mind knowing that this bridge binder is here in case I need it. So in personal, we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 6, 7, and 8, $128. Peace of mind, you guys, peace of mind. I could actually turn these into sinking funds, but I actually like having a binder that I'm not in and out of all the time. This binder just really sits. It just sits on my shelf. It's not lonely. 
<laughs> it has other binders right next to it, but I don't, I don't really use this binder that much. Okay, so my other category today, let's see if we can open this. We'll be getting the rest of the money. Should be $10 or $15. Oh, goodness. Oh, you guys. I might have to do a condensing simply because the envelopes aren't going to shut. So let's see what we have. This is going to be $15. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 added to the other category today. There we go. And this envelope isn't going to close. I can tell you that already. So I am going to have to do a condensing at least for this envelope. So I will move this money around. You may see some of this money in savings challenges, but I will replace it with you know, a 20 or a 10, just to get this envelope to close. So in other, we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 30. 130 dollars. Now that these envelopes are in such good shape, you guys, I feel pretty confident that I will not to not need to stuff them for a while. But boy, it sure is peace of mind. This is doable, you guys. I'm a teacher, I'm low income. I only get paid 10 months a year. If I can do it with my history of overspending, anyone can do it even $1 at a time. So you guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. And I so appreciate you stopping by today, spending a few minutes with me while I give you an update and introduce the new binder for my side hustle. Um, YouTube hopefully will become a side hustle. Oh my God, that's so exciting. And then also just an update for my bridge binder. Also, I hope everyone is doing well and I hope you are remembering that it is never too early and never too late to start taking good care of of your money. And please remember also that self-care is never selfish. I do have links down below. I also have my P.O. Box address down there. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to welcome you here on the Winning Wallet to become part of our family here. We're learning, we're growing, we're changing habits, and we are saving money. And with that, my friends, take good care and bye for now.